All right, so today I'll be giving a quick demonstration of Yahoo's new Flickr application for their iPhone. Uh, and Flickr, as you know, is uh, one of the biggest photo sharing uh, sites on the internet. And uh, what we've done is to bring all that Flickr goodness onto the iPhone. And so you can see it's a full-blown application that starts up in a, in a beautiful screensaver mode. Uh, where it picks out uh, random pictures from your contacts and, and kind of scrolls, cycles through them and has that nice uh, zooming effect. Uh, and if you're not logged in, we kind of pick out the best stuff from Flickr. Uh, and the app itself has two major functions. One is uh, to allow you to take photos and upload them automatically into Flickr. Uh, and the second one is to basically explore Flickr. So let me first demo the, the uh, photo uploading. So if you click this camera button right there, you can see that you can, you can take a photo and upload it directly or you can upload something already on the phone. So let's just take a quick photo and upload that into Flickr. Here we go. So as a demo, let's uh, take a picture of this can. Right. It then goes into a preview mode where you can uh, decide if you like it. So let's say we use this photo. And now comes the cool part. So before you upload it, you can actually edit the title, the description, add it to a set of yours or add tags to it. You can even uh, tag your current location. Right. So the Flickr application now supports geotagging and we use information from the GPS and the uh, cell phone tower triangulation to, to kind of approximate your location. Of course, this is all on an opt-in basis, so you need to give the application permission to use your information. Uh, and lastly, you can set the privacy level uh, for the photo before you upload it. When you're all done, just click the upload button and the app will begin uh, uploading to Flickr. So let's give it a couple of seconds to uh, finish doing that. And the upload's done. So now if we, we then kind of explore the rest of the application, uh, recent refers to kind of recent activity comments uh, that have been done uh, by myself. So as you can see, I'm logged into the application. I've left some comments uh, on some of my friends' uh, pictures here. So this is really a good way to, just kind of to see what's been happening. Recent uploads refers to uh, uploads from my contacts. So of all the people I have on Flickr, this kind of gives me a view of what they've been uploading. So I know if, if a friend's got a new uh, photo, this is the best place for me to come and kind of take a look and say, oh, you, you know, you've just uploaded your new vacation photos, for instance. The next tab is the U tab. And this really refers to kind of all my stuff. And uh, you will see right there, this is the photo we just took and uploaded. It's already up on Flickr. And if you visit on the website, uh, uh, any of my contacts or any, any, uh, anyone can actually see that photo now. So this is the part about exploring Flickr. This is, of course, exploring my own uh, photo collection. I can take a look at what sets I have, uh, take a look at some tags that I have. You know, so, so you can really kind of just really dig into your, 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 your photo collection. So if you have thousands of photos that you've just been uploading, um, this is a great way to, to kind of pull out some old stuff you haven't seen for a while, kind of find out new, uh, and kind of enjoy your photos. The last piece of the, of the application is the Contacts tab. And this tab really gives you a view of all your, your friends who you've added as contacts. So I like Carve. Carve takes some great close-up shots. And so this then kind of uh, gives me a view of all the stuff that he's been uploading, uh, photos he's taken. I can, if I like a photo, I can click and uh, it'll bring it up.
and I can even comment on it and I can see what other people have have said about it as well so I can say great shot and post that up okay and there you go one last thing is the ability to search Flickr for almost anything you'd like so you can just tap on the search bar here and I've done a, a search on let's say space for instance as a keyword and you can instantly kind of get all the photos that match that tag or that description and again it's another wonderful way to just go through all the great content that's on Flickr and explore that There you go. And that's it. So that's really the, the Flickr application for the iPhone.